Hey, good morning everyone from Perth. It is a little bit gloomy outside, but it's nice and warm inside. Well, sort of. Still winter. And in front of me today, I've got the brand new Wahoo Kicker V6. What happens when you sell your smart bike, um, sell your old kicker away, and have no turbo trainer to train in the winter? Well, you go out shopping for a new one. And so shout out to Craig of Bicycle Center Cannington, who's always got great deals, always got my back when I need new gear, new kit. Um, link below and right here, Bicycle Center Cannington. So if you're in Perth, in the southern suburbs, don't forget to pop into Bicycle Center Cannington and look for Craig. Um, he'll give you very competitive rates and deals. And so I got myself this uh, brand new Wahoo Kicker at a great price. And we're gonna unbox it today. So let's get cracking. Now, before I take my scissors and start opening it up, a few things we got to know. What's in the box? We've got an 11 speed cassette, quick release and through axle adapter. So adapters are included, which is great for those of you who are running disc brake like me. I just switched over, over from rim to disc earlier this year. Um, I can go with both now and I don't have to go out to buy the adapters it comes with. There is a 10 speed cassette spacer. So if you're still running a 10 speed, um, yeah, 10 speed bike, 10 speed gears, you can still run this. The spacer is included. Something is really small. If you don't have a spacer, you can always go to a bike shop, but hey, they've included it, which is great. And the kicker axis feet, which was also in the V5. The axis feet basically um, are these silicone rubbery kind of things that you put underneath and it, it helps your, it helps the trainer or gives you the feel that you're, you can rock left and right while you're sprinting. So it's supposed to be a little bit more of a realistic kind of feel. So with that, let's unbox it. This box is freaking heavy, so here we go. They use a lot of tape. Well, what's new with the um, Kicker V6 is that they've got updated features. They've got the Wi-Fi connection now, not just Bluetooth or Plus. Got automatic firmware updates and a dominant odometer and music stats so if you're going to sell this off you can't lie about how little or how much you've used it because it's all recorded which is a great thing just like buying a car and um, yeah telling people hey it's got x number of miles right okay let's do this i haven't figured out how to carry this out yet it's just Big and heavy. Um, Well, included, they've got your adapter that plugs into the back of your Wahoo kicker. A bag here that is sealed, but I can tell that it's got the menu, oh, not menu, sorry, I'm hungry. I've got brunch in about half an hour. The through axle adapters, which are made of metal, good stuff, and your axis feet, and your power plug and since we're here in Australia it's got the three pin for Australian plug so this is the stuff that comes with oh 
here we go, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, check it out. It is heavy, a bit of a beast. Now the kicker is a thing of beauty. I remember having the kicker V1 and it was an amazing, amazing machine. Absolutely stunning. And now with the V6, all the improvements. Gosh. It looks pretty much the same on this side. You've got the Wahoo there, logo of the flywheel, which looks very similar to the old one, but I think they've changed the design over here. Just crank it up, the sticker, and you've got the arrows there, which are all stickers as well. Some people like to change the stickers, you can too. Totally up to you. Handle feels the same. It is good for workout. Ah. Let's grab this up. Oh yeah. Okay. In terms of form factor, it packs down really small. So this is great if you don't have a lot of space. Now I sold my smart bike away because it took up too much real estate in the house. House is not very big. And this is compact. Once you're done using it, you can fold it away, tuck it under the bed or into a corner of your house. It's great. All you've got to do get rid of this silica gel, don't need that, is to depress a button over here and open the legs. Spread the legs, oh yeah baby, spread the legs. Woo! Yeah. Gorgeous. Now, this is set up for a quick release. If you need through axle, I'll actually need to find out how to get it done. Looks like I might have to take out the cassette or through axle. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does look like uh, you need to take out the stuff to change it to through axle for compatibility. Just for information, apart from the lock ring, they've also included a brake chuck for disc brakes. It's just a small plastic thing you stick in between your brake pads when you remove your wheel. So if you accidentally pull on your brakes, your pistons won't get stuck. So, yeah, there you go. This is the brand new Wahoo Kicker. I'll have some close up shots of it shortly. If you're looking for a new turbo trainer, can't go wrong with the Wahoo Kicker. Prices have dropped since the uh, COVID stopped, which is good. I remember prices went up stupid high during the pandemic, but now that the pandemic is over, prices are coming back down to reasonable prices right now. So get on your turbo, get fit, and consider this. If you're not looking for a brand new one, use prices of the um, Kicker and other brands as well. 
are actually pretty low. You could easily get the V1 for about four or five hundred dollars, which is a steal, absolute steal. Those are still really reliable. You don't have the Wi-Fi connection, but overall, they're still great, great pieces of equipment. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.